What is going on everyone? Samurai Solo and I am back with EA Sports UFC 4. Today I'm getting to fight with Alexander the Mahler Gustafsson. Got the camera going. What's going on everyone? And a couple of things. This is post commentary. This is not done live. I've already played I've already played the matches. And two, we are using Alexander Gustafsson at heavyweight. The new patch that just came out last week added some fighters to different weight classes and Gustafsson was one of them. And so here we are. And also I apologize if y'all hear my dogs barking. They're right outside my window. And they're excited about something. But I wasn't sure how Gus was going to be because I've never used Gus before yet in this game. In UFC 3 he was um, one of my go-tos. I loved using Gus in UFC 3. But I haven't used him yet in this game. And I was a little nervous about using him, especially in this weight class, because I've never, you know, a new weight class, wasn't sure how he was going to be or feel. Let me just say he feels incredible. Absolutely incredible. He's definitely going to be one of my go-tos. And, and if he feels this good in heavyweight, he's going to feel, I would imagine, the same, if not even better, at light heavyweight. But yeah, for this first fight here, we were facing off against DC. Let's try and see what kind of DC player I was facing. Sometimes you'll get some that only want to box with you, some that'll just want to just straight up take you down, and others that'll mix it up. You can do a little bit of everything with DC if you want to. This guy's coming at me hard with the one twos. And right here, guys, I tried so hard to upkick him. But it wasn't it wasn't meant to be. I tried over and over. But we're able to get up there. We block him and we get right up to our feet. So I know he kind of wants that clinch as he's been doing that. So there it is. He goes for it right there. We slip hook him. Hit that body. Now I like that Superman jab. It actually covers more distance than I thought it would. It's not too bad of a punch to use here in there to catch guys off guard. And man, he is just really throwing that one twos, one twos out at us. Look at that. Hook, hook rocks him though. And man, he he put out that rocked side lunge and it worked because I happened to be throwing a lead uppercut. If I would have thrown a hook, I would have got him. Spin, spinning back fist catches him. Slip straight gets him. Slip uppercut, but he gets out of the way of my hook. And look at that right there. He went for the clinch attempt and I caught him with hook hook. He's down again. Pre-patch, they added vulnerability to the clinch attempts. Slip straight draw, uh, rocks him. Pre-patch, he would have gotten that clinch on me. That hook wouldn't have interrupted him more than likely. But there it interrupted him. I love that. And we catch him right there with a 1-2-3. Some follow-up shots. And that's all she wrote. Yeah, so his problem was he was just kind of... He didn't really go for enough for takedowns. He went for clinch attempts. And he only did one takedown off the clinch attempt. He never actually shot in for takedowns on me. He was kind of just throwing also the... Same, it was either like hooks or just like one two one two. So we were able to counter him really well, and then we just get him there with that one two three, and that's it. Two and three. All right, guys, and for this fight right here, as you can see, we are taking on the Black Beast Derek Lewis. So I haven't run against any Derek Lewis players yet, or I haven't used Lewis myself. But obviously, yeah, we know he's very powerful. And I was surprised he opened up with a takedown. I was thinking he probably accidentally did that. As I do that all the time when I'm trying to throw a body shot or whatever. I do a takedown accidentally. So one thing I don't want to do with Lewis is firefight with him because of his power. Yep. Land that uppercut. That uppercut is four-star uppercut for Gus. And I said that Superman jab has nice range, but... Not that, not that nice of range. I fall short again on my back fist. Slip straight lead hook, man. You see the damage that did to it to his head health. That's that's a new patch, man. Put that extra damage there for uh, counters. And yeah, I want to work his body because. You know, in real life, Lewis is kind of soft to his body. He's been hurt there multiple times. So we rock him with that head kick right there. You know, um, Junior Dos Santos hurt him really bad with his spinning kick to the body. Travis Brown hurt him multiple times, I think, with front kicks to his body. And Alexander Volkov also hurt him a couple of times to the body. So I would think Lewis might have maybe bad body health in this game. But I don't know what the, what the rating is, so I haven't checked out for Lewis. And spinning elbow catches him there. 
And man, we're doing a good job hitting that body. Fall short on that hook, though. Thought he was going to step in. And I fall short on my strike. Man, nice job there. I uh, should have stopped throwing right there. I thought I could get another quick two-piece off, and I paid for it. Look at that. We pulled back on that jab, hit him with a straight lead hook, rocked, one-two head kick. He thought we were going to his body. That's another reason to do body. Of course, it hurts their stamina, it does body damage, but also it drops those hands. And that's what set up that knockout right there. Now you can pull jabs and straights if you're if you're out of range of them. But if they're too close to you, they will land if you pull back. Mmm, foot to that side of the dome, and that is it. Alright, and for this fight, going up against John Jones, who was also added to the heavyweight division as well. And so for this fight, I was thinking I'm probably going to try to work everything. Legs, body, head. Mix it up really well. Try to stay very technical and tight. Because again, I don't know what this Jones player wants to do. Does he just want to strike? Does he want to grapple? Does he want to clinch? Does he want to, you know, mix everything up? We don't know yet, so... Check that kick, but he does a good job checking mine. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. All right, so a nice shot there defensively. Spin elbow gets him. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. And there we go. We catch him with some nice strikes there, then just lunge back. He's doing some feints with those kicks. But I'm noticing with him, he's throwing a lot of kicks from like out of range and whiffing on them. And that's a good way to, to get countered really badly and also waste your stamina. There we go. Duck under that. He got me with good there. I thought he was going to my body. Caught me with that question mark kick. I'm just taking my time here, letting him let him throw these kicks out and miss. There's another one that misses. Catch him with that front kick. I was actually a little surprised by how much stamina he still has, um, just because he, he's whipped on a lot of kicks, and I've been hitting his body a little bit. That did a lot of damage to him. You see that head health flash off that spin elbow? Gets that one on me, though. I'll take that trade off. He can have that lead leg kick. We land a one two. I miss on my body kick there. Lead hook hurts him there. Doesn't rock him, but it hurts him. Check that one. Straight right to the body. Show you I can hear my dogs barking again. One of them at least. Catch him with that hook. Knee to the body. And yeah, I don't know what like when he went for that take that and got it. I don't know what I can do differently if there's anything I can do. So like he was driving. So if he goes up or down on the stick, I can press up or down to try to block it. But when he just drives me straight back, is it just keep holding L2 and R2 and hope for the best? Or can I press back on the stick? I'm not sure about that. I didn't hold back on the stick. I just kept holding out. I never let go of L2 and R2. So I'm not sure what that's based on. I need to figure that out, actually. But yeah, you see his stamina is actually really good. I mean, I know he's John Jones. who probably has ridiculous cardio. But I mean, he whiffed on a lot of kicks. And I, I hit his body pretty decent. That takedown, I remember he got because I was queuing up a spinning elbow. 
right there when I rocked him. I was holding R2 and Square ready to do it, and it never came out, and he went for that takedown. I didn't have enough time to react. But we're able to get right back to our feet. He would have got that on me because I went to block low again, but he fainted it. Yep, thought we were going to his body. Lead hook, straight right, rocks him. See, now the head health is starting to hurt him now. It's starting to catch up to him. Because I don't think we got a rock in the first round. I get a little too overexcited right there. I should have settled down. And uh, I get taken down for my troubles. But we're able to block that. Sprawl out. And I was just going to stay here until the ref stood us up. But then he went for that guillotine, missed it. You see my grapple advantage is huge. And we're able to get to our feet. Of course, land some knees to the body here. Hurt him. Let's back away. He went for that body knee three times in a row. He's down. He was determined to get that. Left hook drops him. Faints us again there. Spit on him, but he did a good job blocking there. I faked that body shot. We caught him with a couple strikes upstairs, but I don't think he really bit. I think he was about to throw something. We interrupted him. Good job. He got me there. Oh, and now one, two. Catches him. And we're able to get him out of there. I actually thought he was going to recover, especially when he swayed my strike. But it wasn't enough. We did too much head damage to him. Yeah, he was about to throw something there. Not sure what. We'll see what the replay shows, what the replay looks like. We can tell. But we just interrupted him with that sharp one, two. And that was it. Let's see that again. It's hard to tell. Maybe a flying knee? Not sure. I'm sure a kick of some sort. That's what he had been doing a lot of. Yeah, it looks like maybe a flying knee. And yeah, for this fight here, we are going up against Tyson Fury. And my thought process with this fight was like, I probably might need to take him down. But I was like, also, every fight starts on the feet. Let's box. Let's, or kickbox, of course, for Gus. Let's, let's stand up a little bit with him. Work our strikes. See what, see what he presents to us. And if we need to take him down or clinch him or whatever, we will. So obviously I don't want to fire fight with Fury. I want to use my head movement to try to make a miss. I've used Fury. I haven't used Fury in ranked yet, but um, I've used him in blitz battles. And man, his range is just ridiculous. It's insane. It, it, it's it's really it can be really overwhelming actually to put up with because there's spots where he can hit you, but you can't hit him even if you even if you pull his your uh, slip or pull back on the strikes and try to counter. Catch me with that overhand as I throw that push kick to the body. That's what I got to be careful of. I thought that overhand was coming, so I was uh, sliding over there, but I was I was holding block just in case. And yeah, I'm trying to work that body. And I don't know if he accidentally did that. I'm going to assume he accidentally did that. He lets the hooks rip there, doesn't he? He delayed that. I, duck, I, I threw a duck counter, but uh, he delayed that the rest of his hooks there. And that's why I got caught. And this guy is just throwing, man. He is throwing a lot of strikes. But we're making a miss a little bit here, too. Superman jab interrupts him. Yeah, Fury's kicks are terrible, as they should be, right? I don't know how powerful they are or if they even are powerful, but they're very, very slow. And also, he doesn't have a head kick, so if you see it, if you see his leg, a kick coming at you, it's going to either be to the legs or to the body. And this guy's look at him; he's actually kind of walking us down. He really should be fighting at range, like staying at this range he's at, and like throwing those one twos out. Throw that jab out there, make it uncomfortable. Put that one two out there on me. 
We're able to pull back on that hook. Pull back again on another hook. And, I mean, as you can see, look at the stamina already. And he's Tyson Fury, who has, I'm sure, crazy stand-up cardio, you know, crazy cardio. Because we're just making a miss. And we're hitting that body up here in there, too. And, yeah, I did that again. I did it earlier with the push kick to the body. Then I throw a front kick, completely whiff on it, then eat that overhand. Very, very lucky I didn't get rocked there or, or flash dropped. There we go. We hit a hard body kick there. Pull back on that lead uppercut. Get out of the way of his overhand. Hook to the body. Quick jab upstairs and a straight right to the body. Great round for us. So at this point, I was thinking like, okay, you know what? I can stand with. I can stand with them. We can stand up and have a, a, a stand-up battle here. I don't need to look for the takedown or anything like that. And look at look like I said. Look at that stamina difference. Lunch back out of the way of that one-two. Slip straight that jab. And he goes for a takedown again. I don't know if he accidentally did that. Out of instinct, I stop it. Hit some body knees. Break away. And look at that. We get a double rock there. I landed my back fist, but he landed his overhand. So we were both in vulnerability states. And both got rocked. That was pretty crazy. We make him miss that overhand, but we eat that uppercut, but that's okay. Body hook falls just a little short, but his uppercut might have caught me too if I would have been closer also. There we go. We catch him nice there. And yeah, look at him, man. Oh, there we go. Catch him to that knee. Stamina was low. He's down. Lever shot drops him. Boom. Spin elbow as he tries to throw a body kick after just being dropped. While against the fence, not advised. If you get rocked and put on the fence and they break off you, you got to circle off that fence. You cannot try to fire back when you're because your head health is still going to be low. Not a good idea. And also, he threw a body kick with Fury. Right at, I mean, at that close of a range... Maybe he thought I was going to back away, but still. And you see the spin elbow finishes him off. But all right, guys, that's going to do it. That's four fights with Gus. Like I said, he is incredible. Try him out at, he at heavyweight. He's great. But that's going to do it for this one. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace.